Hi guys, welcome to Dakes Gaming. Today I am going to cover the Trickster armor sets that have been recently leaked. I want to provide insight about the armor set themselves, the perks that they have, but also really diving into the detail where you can get a really good idea of how these armor sets are going to help your playstyle when you get into the full game. Let's get into it. So the first set of armor we are going to cover is the Chronosuit set. Now this armor set really focuses on twisted rounds. The skill itself is great if you're going to be using it for using it on elites or if you're going to use it for bosses but also for general mobs as well because you'll cut through them really quickly. The other perks will focus on other aspects such as armor and resistance, reducing certain skill cooldowns and also dealing damage when using certain skills. So let's get on to the next one. The Trespassers armor set has an intrinsic perk where the player cannot die while inside the slow trap. Now this may be players in plural but I think this really refers to just yourself so if you're the person who's casting it then it is impossible for you to die while being inside this trap. Now the armor itself really focuses on time related skills and um, this will be really good if you are facing a large amount of enemies or in a difficult environment such as end game activities because you'll be able to use your slow traps more frequently and there'll be benefits for the entire team but also for yourself that you can use when using this particular armor set. So the next armor set has the intrinsic perk where Hunt the Prey does not consume cooldown when teleporting behind an enemy marked with Venator's knife. Now this really focuses on two skills, Venator's knife and Hunt the Prey, specifically on Hunt the Prey. Now Venator's knife, as far as I can tell, would be similar to the stasis melee from a hunter in Destiny and obviously Hunt the Prey is teleporting around the map and killing enemies while weakening them and dealing additional damage to them from behind. I think that Venator's Blade will be quite an interesting skill. I haven't played with it just yet because the game hasn't released but I think that because it can deal damage to multiple targets and also mark enemies so that you can teleport around this will really make the armor itself quite interesting to use especially if you have the full set. Now the other thing as well is that you're going to find that you take less damage from elites by 20% but also you gain health back from the critical damage that you deal to elites as well. All in all I think that the armor sets look great and that they're all going to have their own specific place in each player's playstyle. Now for me my favorite is the chrono suit set followed by the trespassers set followed by the Yugake Otara set. Now the reason for that is because the chrono suit focuses on twisted rounds and that is my preference at the moment based on gameplay that I've had in the demo. Then secondly the trespassers set I think will be very useful for end game activity but also for controlling mobs but also as a support class to resurrect fallen allies. And then Yugake Otara set, it's very difficult to really get a good understanding of this because I haven't had the chance to see or play with Venator's Blade just yet. I do think that this will be quite a good armor set, however it's not quite to my playstyle, perhaps it will be for yours. So let's see what comes up in the full game and uh, hopefully I'll be proven wrong and it will be absolutely incredible. Thanks for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel 
for more content on Outriders and to rate the video. Have a great day and I will catch you on the next one.